scientists around the world. The Power of Curiosity The Life and Discoveries of Hermann von Helmholtz Chapter 1, The Curious Boy Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the hills, there lived a curious boy named Hermann. Hermann loved to explore nature and ask questions about the world around him. One day, while playing in the fields, he noticed how the birds sang beautiful melodies. This sparked his interest in sound. Chapter 2 The Sound of Discovery As Hermann grew older, his curiosity only deepened. He spent hours experimenting with different materials to understand how sound traveled through the air. He discovered that sound was a wave, vibrating through the air like ripples on a pond. This revelation filled him with joy and excitement. Chapter 3 The Journey Begins Determined to learn more, Hermann set off on a journey to study science. He attended university and worked hard to become a scientist. Along the way, he conducted experiments and made important discoveries about sound and its properties. His dedication and passion for learning earned him the nickname, the father of acoustics. Chapter 4 Sharing Knowledge Hermann von Helmholtz dedicated his life to sharing his knowledge with others. He wrote books and taught students about the wonders of sound. His most famous experiment involved demonstrating how sound waves could be visualized using sand on vibrating plates. This experiment amazed people and helped them understand the beauty of sound. Chapter 5 The Legacy Lives On Even after his passing, Hermann's legacy lived on. His contributions to the field of acoustics continue to inspire scientists and students alike. Today, we remember Hermann von Helmholtz as a brilliant mind who taught us to listen to the world around us with wonder and curiosity. Curious. Let's answer. Why do you think Hermann became interested in sound? How do you think Hermann felt when he discovered that sound travels as a wave? Can you explain why Hermann is called the father of acoustics? What do you think Hermann's sound experiment helped people understand about sound? How do you think Hermann's legacy influences scientists today?